Ohio State has voted to extend it, you know, Coach Ryan Day through the 2028 college football season. Not only that, they're also giving, giving him a raise. A lot of other coaches on the coaching staff will also be getting raises. You know, Coach Brian Hartline is one of the guys that's going to be one of the coaches getting a raise. And one of the reasons he's getting a raise is because, hey, I understand at Ohio State, the goal is to obviously be really successful in the postseason. But each year, you know, he's had a winning season, a winning season, a winning season, a winning season at Ohio State. He's been very competitive in the majority of games that he's played. We've seen improvement each and every year on the offensive side of the ball, which is, you know, he is terrific at. Obviously, there's work to be done on the defensive end or the defense side of the ball, but in terms of recruiting, this is great. I think one thing you need is stability. You can't have a coach, you know, with one year, two years left on his deal. And for a guy like um, Ryan Day, he is a guy that the NFL was – has been interested in him. He worked with the San Francisco 49ers, you know, so that, that interest of him going to the NFL, there was talk of him going to the Chicago Bears, you know, maybe helping out Justin Fields where he has some success there, you know, so that NFL, and Ryan Day is also fairly young. He's a very, very young guy. This isn't an Urban Meyer situation. This isn't a Jim Trussell situation. This guy's very, very young. So the potential of teams in the NFL winning him is there. I don't see another college football team getting him, but just to have him locked up this long or, or extending extend his contract is huge. You know, recruits were saying, hey, this is stability. I talked about the defensive side of the ball each and every year. You know, for one of the guys, I think it was uh, some of the upperclassmen each year, they've had a new defensive coordinator. That's not really showing stability on the side of a ball when you're trying to recruit high recruits. But when you have Ryan Day intact, and it seems that Coach Noel is going to be very successful, you know, you're building that. You want to have like a Clemson when they had Dabo Sweeney and the, uh, the coach that, you know, went on to uh, be the head coach of um, – Brent Venables, the head coach of Oklahoma, they were together for a really long time. You've seen that program get better and better each year. Now, Ohio State is obviously a way better pro- program than Clemson, but they've had coaching stability for a very long time. And that's what Ohio State needs to get back to. Having Coach Day, this only helps for the future of Ohio State. Well-deserved, him getting a raise. And, you know, now it's time. You know, the universities wrote their checks. Now it's time to cash in with a championship and hopefully, you know, before his, his contract, his current contract, his new contract is up, you know, it is fulfilled with a college football playoff championship and some wins against that team up north. But first, getting a victory against the Notre Dame Fighting Irish on September 3rd.